I am joined at the desk by former Howard Government Minister and Bondo Partner Senior Advisor Peter McGoran. Peter, how are you? Very well, Tim. Let's start with uh, Peter Dutton, um, the whole nuclear debate. Everyone's got an opinion on it. He, this issue is working well for Peter Dutton. It, um, he's been pushing it against some strong opposition from the, from the government, but he's fleshing out the details. It makes sense. Uh, leave it to the market. Um, it's shrewd to locate the modular reactors in, in coal-producing areas because the transition wires are already mm. there, obviously, Tim, and that's a big issue in rural communities, that the renewables, solar and wind, require up to 28,000 kilometres of transition lines to connect them to the grid. So that's causing a backlash. So it ticks a lot of boxes. Oh, absolutely. And, and look, there's the international example. Anyone has to travel to France and, mm. and see what they do in other parts of the world, um, it works. And Rolls-Royce is, is selling, or is, the government has bought from Rolls-Royce mm. or made a commitment of $4 billion for, for nuclear-powered engines for our future submarines. So Rolls-Royce is very used to, and that they have a track record, of uh, constructing small modular uh, reactors.